What's going on, chicken friends? It's Donna Little from the Coop Scoop, and I am out here in the chicken coop sweltering. It is 96 lovely degrees with a thousand percent humidity. But I had to finish a project, and I'm almost done. I'm done enough, I'll say. But I had, I've got several problems going on that I think the, that the changes I just made are going to solve all of them and because the main one was sort of my fault I felt a little bit guilty and I felt like I needed to get my rear end out here and get it taken care of so here's what I've done and here's why I've done it I mentioned in a video the other day that my student being born Velvet Alice was getting bullied and she is lowest in the pecking order always has been she accepts her position in life but what happened was, I should say this, most of the bullying that happens is on the roost. Well, I got chicks about a month ago, a little over a month ago, and so when it was time for them to come outside into the brooder pen, I took part of their roost space away from them, and even though that is not where Alice always roosts, that's where two of my biggest bullies roost. So when that little area was taken away from them, the bullies ended up on the roost where Alice is, and God love her. Like, you know, if you have chickens, there's always squabbling on the roost bar. A lot of times, if a chicken's pecking at a chicken beside them, that chicken will just move. Alice doesn't move. She'll just sit there and duck her head and take it. So I've had to come out and sort of be the referee at night, and I don't always have time to do that. I have to stand out here and make sure. So what ended up happening is she dealt with the bullion for a few days, and then she started flying up to the top of the garage door because my coop is a single car garage. She started flying up to the top of the garage door, and the ceiling in here goes up 11 feet at the highest, and so it was, she'll just hop up on the roost and jump up there or fly up there. And it's, it's hot, I live in the south, so I know if it's 90 degrees when they go to roost, it's 170 degrees up there. So I know it's not safe for her to be in that level of heat, on top of the fact that I don't want her flying down. She did sort of crash into the wall the other day when she was trying to get up. I just, I don't want her to get injured, and you know, sometimes chickens do not do things that are in their own best interest. So I knew I was gonna have to solve this problem. So I blocked that off where she cannot get up there anymore. And she was quite distressed when she came in that first night and realized that she wasn't gonna be able to fly up there. And so she's, you know, trying to find a spot to be. So that's when I was having to come out here and sort of referee the problem. So I have this. It is 16 feet long. So this is with the two roost bars, 30, two feet, which should be plenty of space for 18 hens, but not my hens because they don't play nice on the roost bar. So that is what was inside the brooder pen. So that is the one that my biggest bullies used to use, and when they got displaced and had to come over to this, because Alice would be over here on the big long one with the chickens that play a little nicer and when the bullies ended up on the roost bar with her that's when the problem started so i put that over there so that was kind of problem number one that got solved now i will say this i eventually hope that it will solve the problem no one wants to use it they've gotten up there a couple of times and then they're like nope they're like rain man like nope this is definitely not my underwear <laughs> I'm like, I don't sleep on this side of the coop, sorry. So they're not using it yet, but things seem to be settling down. And I guess they've kind of gotten used to not having the roost where it used to be. So that problem's getting solved, but I know it will eventually. Every, chickens have to like make decisions, you know, they have to think about things and dwell on a little bit. So I know it will eventually get used, but that is one problem solved. Locking the area up above the garage door problem solved. When I got chicks last year, my brooder pen, I'll turn this around and show you, this is my brooder pen. It is a six foot by six foot 
pen and I just line it with some mesh and it keeps the chicks from being able to walk through the chain link and they have plenty of space to grow in there and there was no roost bar in there at all last year. So while the chicks were in there and as they started to grow up and they hit about four or five weeks old, I built a roost bar in there just for them. So when the brooder pin came down finally, they were probably 14 or 15 weeks old when I was able to fully integrate everybody. They stayed on their roost bar. The big girls stayed on their roost bar. Nobody squabbled about anything. And it was a seamless transition. It was the best transition I've ever had. So I wish I had been doing that all along. But now they all swap out and go here and there. And you know, but they're one flock now. So, next problem that I solved was I went ahead and built another roost bar, a double roost bar in here, just like the big long one. And so all eight of the new chicks will be able to fit on there. The only thing left to do is to put sand on the top and put the step up on that, right, <laughs> right there, is to put the step up on there. And I'm not gonna do that yet until I get the sand on there and they'll start to figure out this is their roost bar, they will use it. When I finally take the brooder pin down, then it'll be the same way. They'll have their own space. Maybe the big girls will start to come over and they'll start to come over here eventually, but everybody will have their own space already. My next problem has been, you know, if you've got 10 chickens and you've got 10 nest boxes, they're gonna use two of them and they're gonna bicker over those two and they're gonna stand in line for those two and they are going to scream at each other to hurry up and lay the egg because they need that nest box. It does not matter that there are eight other nest boxes. So I have 18 hens that are old enough to lay and I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 nest boxes. <laughs> it is ridiculous. Now, they made their own nest box outside so to speak, on a bale of hay, their own nest. I've got a covered area right outside of here. And one of them decided to lay an egg on top of the bale of hay one day, and the rest of them were like, this is the greatest thing ever, we can lay eggs outside. And so I built them nest, four nest boxes out there. And they love them. The nest boxes that used to be there never get used. So I took those and I added them to the four outside. So it has been a little over a week, I guess, since I've moved that out there and they are beginning to use it. It took, you know, they, they would hop up on it and they always have to like, they're always skeptical of new things. So they had to like check it out and look at it and then they would say, nah, not gonna use it. But Mabel has started uh, laying in there and then one of the other hands is laying in there. So I know they'll all start, but it has really kind of chilled out the plucking and the waiting in line for those four nest boxes. So that problem is getting solved. This problem is getting solved. And now that I've got the new roost bar in here, turn that around and show you. There it is. It doesn't have, like I said, any sand on it yet. And it doesn't have the step up on it yet, but that'll be um, this week. I'll get it. I'll get the sand. I just haven't gone and bought it yet. Now my chicks will have a place to roost. So I... I, I could be, if there is a job for a chicken therapist, I guarantee you I could get it because this is kind of what I do. I solve problems for chickens. Is that a job? Can I get paid? I don't know. You guys, I hope you are enjoying our content. This is just me showing you what I'm doing. Not really a whole point to this video, but me doing projects. I hope you're enjoying our content. If you are, please hit that subscribe button and like it and the notification bell so you don't miss any updates because my new little chicks are outside. I booted them out today so they're enjoying. They've got, let's see if, I can, if you can see them. They are in there, if you can tell. They're out there and they are enjoying a little outdoor time and I've got them sort of an enclosed space. So, got a top on it. Paul can't get to them. I don't have to stand there and constantly watch them. Have a fantastic day, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next video.